Ah. How good. Breakfast nearly ready. Ah. Just want to get a pair of... Uh... Clean socks. Ah, thank you. And my... Brown shoes. Ah, thank you. There we are. Uh. Boiled egg. Uh, yes. Uh, is this the smallest one? Uh, no, that's last night. I'll get you this No, one. I'll look at that. All right. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's my... What, June, what, what, what are you doing? It's all right, darling. I'm just uh, buttering it for you. Just a minute. Just a minute. There is, there's something wrong here. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take the top off your egg. No, no, sure. I can do that. I can do that. I can do it. Get over. Get off. <laughs> All right. There's no need to snatch. But don't anticipate my every move, please. It's like competing with an overanxious octopus. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I was only... No, June. No, June. June, you are a person in your own right. You don't have to dance attendance on me. It's not necessary to jump up and get my morning paper. I think it's beneath you. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, there you are. No, no, look, look. Just, just recently, our relationship seems to be based on trivialities, like you p passing me the butter. Oh, well, if passing you the butter is ruining our relationship, I certainly won't hand you the coffee. It might be construed as grounds for divorce. <laughs> no, no I, I meant that we should have a deeper, a more meaningful relationship, not just, I'm buttering your toast, I've washed your socks, and here's your boiled egg. I mean, you're getting things the wrong way round. Well, if you'd rather I boiled your toast, washed your egg, and buttered your socks. <laughs> I mean, as an octopus, I could do all three at the same time. No, 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 June, June, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to be serious. I mean, you are, you are your own person, not just a servant. Now, now this, this is, this is important. This, this is important, June. No, sorry. This, 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 this is important. Yes, I'm sorry. Do go on. Well, you see, look, I am me, and you, June, are you. I see. <laughs> and you thought that I wasn't sure who we were. No, I meant, I meant that we are not just a single we. We are two we's and half of we is you. Half of we is you, aren't us? Are you we? You, you know, you know what I mean. Ah, no. Well, I mean, you should be more independent. No, don't just, just, don't live in my shadow. I mean, don't show your feelings for me just by buttering me toast. There's more to it than that. I see. You want jam on it. No. <laughs> Marmalade, actually. Would you mind... No, don't. You don't have to. But I don't mind. But I don't want it. Ah, oh, look. Look. These are serious questions, June. I mean, shouldn't we be... Sh shouldn't I... Shouldn't I... Shouldn't I be... Shouldn't I be... Be leaving for the office? It is a quarter to nine. Is it? Um, where, where's the jacket? Where's the chair? Where's the shoes? Where's the... Don't just sit there. Help me. Come on. <laughs> June! It's me, darling, I'm home. June? Hmm? I'm back. From work? Terry, you do remember me? Your dinner's cooking. Thank you. I'm not exactly overwhelmed with the reception there. After what you said this morning, you could hardly expect the trumpeters of the household cavalry. Well, well what did I say? Oh, don't tell me you don't remember about our trivial relationship. Oh, that. Yeah, well, can't, can't a man make a chance remark at breakfast without ruining his whole evening? I realize you do tend to hang on my every word, June, but if... if June? June. Good Lord. I think Sir Percy Lloyd is about to ravish Lady Diana. Well, I'm sorry I interrupted him. I do hope he doesn't put him off. Oh, my goodness, he has. Has he? Oh, where? Where? I don't like people looking over my shoulder. I don't suppose Sir Percy does, either. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a rotten day at the office. Now, that's important. Is it? Why? Well, Lady Diana has told Sir Percy... Now, just a minute, was... just a minute, June. I would like a little attention. Never mind what Lady Diana just said to Sir Percy. I can't just drop them like that. <laughs> I said, never mind what Lady Diana said to Sir Percy. Oh, Terry. <laughs> well, if you're going to be awkward, I just happened to make a casual remark this morning. I'm greeted by a, a dazzling display of complete indifference. Mm. Oh. Well, all, all, all the whisk is gone. Mm. I said, all the whisk is gone. Mm. 
Did Lucy get off on a holiday all right? Hmm. It's like chatting up a hummingbird. <laughs> As a matter of fact, she was rather disappointed that you didn't ring up to wish her bon voyage. Bon voyage? Good blimey, she only went to Clacton. <laughs> You've come home in one of your moods, haven't you? Me? Me? I was all right when I came in. It was, it's you. After your remarks this morning, which you've so conveniently forgotten, I decided to stop fussing over you. I'm not a machine that can just be switched on and off whenever you feel like it. I knew. I knew you'd take it the wrong way. I knew. I knew. I knew. All right. Let me know when you're switched on. I'll come back again. <laughs> I'm going to get some supper. I'm famished. You'll have to get into the oven to eat it, because that's where it's staying till it's cooked. I see. Lady Diana being ravished is more important than your husband being famished. End, end of round one. <laughs> Harry! Harry! Seconds out, round two. Uh, just what did you expect when you came home? Me wandering around with the rose between my teeth and playing the violin? Don't be silly. You can't, you can't play the violin. <laughs> Anyway, we haven't got any roses. We've got some daffodils, though. Put a record on and do it with a daffodil between your dentures. But you said that I shouldn't dance attendance on you. Now, surely that eliminates musical accompaniment as well. No, look, Jude, all, all I was saying, all I was saying, now that the children have left us, we should have a more meaningful relationship. I mean, I, I didn't mean to upset you. I mean, I do, I know I annoy you sometimes, but it's not often. L listen, darling, listen, if only this... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Never mind. Sorry. Never mind. It's obviously one that melts in your hand and not in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it off. Well, I'm sorry. I, uh, right, I, I, right. I didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah, when I, no, it's all right. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Look, can I, can I put it in a more delicate way to you? Look, there was a quiz in this morning's paper on the women's page. Are you an understanding wife or just a housekeeper? You have to tick the alternatives and add up your score. So? Well, I filled it in on your behalf and added up your score. And? You were disqualified. <laughs> well, thank you. But what, what, what have I said now? This morning, you said that I was living in your shadow. Well, yeah, but I mean, didn't mean... Don't you see? I have to, darling. It's so much cooler there, and I can store all the butter that I keep passing you. <laughs> well... I'll say one thing for you. When you're in a rock mood, I'll get plenty of exercise. Oh, uh, maybe you're right, Terry. Maybe I am just a housekeeper with a dull, hopeless outlook. Ah, uh, yes, darling, but you, I mean, you've got me. Yeah, and the weather has been rotten as well. <laughs> oh, look, I mean, we may be getting on a bit now, but we've still got each other. You make it sound like Darby and Joan. Oh, no, no. Now, look, Joan. Uh, Joan. Uh. Joan. <laughs> look, I've been thinking, if there is anything wrong with our relationship, it's because I haven't spent enough time with you. Well, I've got a surprise for you. I'm taking next week off, and I'm going to devote it to you. I've got a surprise for you. I won't be here next week. I've taken a job. What? Yes, I've taken a temporary job in an office, because half the staff are down with flu, and, and they need me, Terry. Well, I, I need you, June. Well, not as much as they do. And I, it's, I, I've, I've given them my word. And, and our life. Now, you said that I should be more independent. So I shall be here on my own, alone. Oh, darling, please don't sulk. Well, I'm, I'm not sulking. <laughs> but it was your idea. Don't you apologize. <laughs> don't you apologize. No, you go where you're needed. Uh, I'm not upset. I'll be all right. That's all right then, isn't it? Fine. Settled. Done. Good. Dinner will be ready in a minute. Couldn't eat a thing. Oh, come on, Terry. Now, don't pour me all that. <laughs> You've made your position clear, right? I mean, you, you go. I'm, I'm not upset. I'm perfectly all right, huh? I'm going to go up to my room and lie down. I've got a bit of a headache. <laughs> you might have mentioned this earlier. Why? I'd have asked Lucy to take me to Clapton with her. <laughs> <sighs> June? June, you're going to be late. Just coming. I suppose now I've done the washing up, I've got to do all the housework. Don't we get any perks? Can I make an appointment? Have my hair done? <laughs> Do I get a kiss and cuddle for the milkman? What was that, dear? Oh, never mind. Oh, oh you look good. Have you had two baths? Oh, I feel so excited this morning. It's like the first day at school. Oh, got a clean hanky tucked up in nickel and then. <laughs> now, um, don't start the hoovering before you've dusted. And it's Monday and I usually clean the oven and don't forget the washing. Oh. Now. I think uh, I'll see you this evening, then. I'd better dash. Good luck. Yes, thanks. Bye. <laughs> June, June, 
Haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Cocky. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day. Milko! Oh, I'll never get my potatoes done. <laughs> Hello, then, there, darling. Good morning, Ducky. Did you want something? <laughs> Oh, blimey. Hey, sorry, mate. I thought you were the missus. Mm -hmm. No, I'm the mister. Oh, you could have fooled me in that penny. <laughs> Are you here to deliver the milk or do an audition for the comedian? Uh, keep your shirt on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be uh, £3.75. God, right. Well, she didn't pay me Saturday. Oh, no. You lost your handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Gone off, has she? Yeah, she's out on a temporary job, and I'm here for a bit. Oh, are you? <laughs> Pity I don't fancy you then, isn't it? <laughs> I meant, look, I can't stand here and talk to you. I've got all my housework to do. Oh, lumbered you, Ashy. Still, never mind. I expect you'll be down the pub as soon as they open. You must be joking. I'll be here all day, dusting and hoovering and cleaning the oven. We don't all finish at lunchtime, you know. Yeah, and we don't all start at five in the morning, do we? Darling. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Hello, Mr. Fletcher. I haven't seen you for ages. No, sir. I don't go much on the Afghan hounds and cash me a sweater like you get in here. Oh, like that, is it? Mm. I'll have a whiskey. Uh, a large one. Drowning in sorrows, eh? No, teaching them to swim. Oh, well. <laughs> You'll soon be dead. Then all your troubles will be over. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Excuse me. Hmm? Fletcher, isn't it? Yeah, uh, who are you? Oh, come on, you remember me. I'm Bob Holsgrove. We were at school together. Holsgrove? Yes. Speedy Holsgrove. Fatty Fletcher. <laughs> yes, well, you don't look that speedy anymore. <laughs> well, I can't say you changed much. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. We've just moved here from up north. Got a couple of days off to settle in. Oh, we're, we're just round the corner. One of the large, uh, semi-detached, you know, own garage, own greenhouse, and over half an acre. <laughs> oh, what a turn up. Married, then, are you? Yes. Very. Oh, about that, is it? Yeah, you look as if you could do with another drink. Two halves are better, please. And I'll have a large scotch. <laughs> well, she couldn't wait to get out of the house this morning. I haven't seen her so excited since she was accepted into the Frankie Vaughan Appreciation Society. <laughs> and that's going back a bit. Mm. Look, old son, from what you've told me, and having sat here with you, there's only one answer to your lady wife's behaviour. What? B-O... What a flaming cheek! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. B O R E D, bored. She's bored. Well, what do you mean, well, what do you mean, ha having sat here with you? Well, take a look at yourself. Hmm? <laughs> take a good look. Well, well, it's difficult sitting here, isn't it? <laughs> if I may say, old son, it's your whole image and personality. I think it's boring. And I think you're asking for a punch up my throat, Holsgrove. <laughs> no, don't take it personally. I'm trying to help. Well, you're not exactly Robert Redford yourself, are you? Yeah, but it's you she's bored with, not me. Oh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I was boring. Sometimes I'm quite unpredictable. I mean, last month I surprised her with a fur coat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'd never seen me in one before. <laughs> well, you've got to take this seriously. I mean, my marriage reached just the same stage. She was decent enough on the surface, but there was nothing underneath. Yeah, well, you could bore the pants off anybody. <laughs> no, I meant she was... Well, she was waiting on me, all right, but that was all that there was left between us. I felt I was sort of trapped in a cafe. <laughs> so I decided to take a good look at myself and I decided to remodel my whole persona. Oh, plastic surgeon, I couldn't go through that. <laughs> no, 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 I changed my image. I slimmed down a bit, got some new clothes, became a better conversationalist, made myself into a different man. Mm. Yeah, I surprised her. You did? It? Yes. You eliminate whatever you're doing wrong and replace it with something more pleasing. Oh. You don't do this profession. I mean, your pen name isn't proofs, is it? <laughs> I'm only telling you this from my own experience, but it happens to most marriages at some time. It's like the seven-year itch. Oh, and this is the 21-year scratch and start again. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for all that. I don't think I'll bother, thank you. <laughs> my round, I believe. Uh, half a bitter? Uh, no, thanks, Fatty. I'll have a large whiskey. I thought you would. <laughs> all right. Chinese meal for two. Bottle of plum. Uh, my new gear, Captain Thunder after shave, <laughs> Mediterranean instant tan, bottle of slimming pills. I uh, think I'll be safe and take two. Yes. I once was an ugly duckling <laughs> with feathers all stubby and brown. A swan? Me a swan? 
And a very fine swan indeed. <clears throat> I wonder how June will react when she sees me. I'll come down the stairs in my new gear, my new image. I look at her, my woman. She looks at me, her man. We stand quite still. We stand quite still, hardly daring to breathe, and I speak softly to her. Hello, June. Her big mouth. Her generous mouth. Her generous mouth creases into a warm, crooked glim. I smile, and both our eyes meet in the middle. <laughs> she gasps slightly and then... <gasps> Terry? Terry? Is that really you? With a torrent of feelings welling up inside me and a consuming sensation of the importance of this moment, I look at her longingly and I say... Yes. <laughs> her lips part and her teeth break <laughs> into a dazzling smile. I... I hardly recognize you. Yes. Yes, it's me, definitely. Oh, Terry, you look so... so... Fantastic. Yes, I know, and I've done it all for you. But don't move. Don't move, June. S just... just stay absolutely still. Don't move. Why, is there something crawling on me? <laughs> No, no, not yet, but there will be any minute. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to restrain myself. Oh, don't. Oh, good. <laughs> don't move. Don't move, Terry. Just stand there. I want to look at you. I want you to stand there. Yes, I'll stand here, June. And you stand there, too. Yes, I'll stand here. Oh, I can't stand this, June. <laughs> Oh, June. Terry. June. Don't do that, June. I can't help it, darling. It's this new image of yours. Yes, I know. You've always appreciated one side of me, but I... I wanted to show you a bit of the other. Oh, Terry. Terry, you're so erotic. I didn't realize you were so many-faceted. Oh, yes, many, many, many-faceted. In fact, my facets are my biggest... Assets. Oh, darling. Darling, you're wonderful. I can hardly wait. Neither can I. <laughs> oh, well, it's upstairs and farewell to the old Fletcher. <laughs> I want for the night. Terry, it's me. Hello, June. Did you do any dusting? <laughs> The sun shines in this house again. Flaming June is here. Oh, that damn traffic was absolute murder tonight. Just, I... just stand still. Yeah. Oh, let's talk. Let's talk of cabbages and kings. And if the sea is boiling hot, then whether pigs have wings. June, there's so much to... June! <laughs> oh, I did lots of filing and some typing. I think they were quite pleased with me. My compliments. Your evening footwear, oh, darling. Oh, thanks, darling. Dinner is imminent. Oriental. Um, June. Oh. I must just close my eyes for a second. I think it's having to look at all that small print. Uh, 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 June. They were all very nice to me, you know. We all went out at lunch for a super Chinese meal. June. Chinese? Hmm. Anything wrong? No, 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 no it's all right. And Mr. Caldecott, the chief clerk. He's very suave and debonair. You know, the type, all silver-grey sideboards and suspenders on his socks. Uh, June. 
I wasn't going to tell you, but he uh, he actually said I'd got very nice legs. I see. You've been <laughs> checking on his suspenders, and he's been groping at your legs. Yes, well, you know. Good God, Terry, what the hell have you got on? Well, well no, nothing. It's just uh, I put the... I your just... feet? Huh? It's, it's like an overripe pomegranate. Well, no. no. It's just, just something I... What I... have you been up to? Well, I... Are you a... rehearsing for the village panto? Well, I... Uh... Terry, mm? you've been in my wardrobe, haven't you? That's one of mine. Oh, Terry! Ah, oh, go and take a running jump. Ah, I was hoping I might find you here, Holko. Oh, hi, Fletcher. What are you going to have? Your guts for garters. <laughs> you and your new image were two pins. I'd rearrange your persona permanently. Well, what happened then? She took one look at me and burst into hysterics. Well, in your case, that was always a possibility. Thank you. And how come you got away with it? Well, I, I never said it worked with me. As a matter of fact, it didn't. We split up. I'm divorced. <laughs> divorced? Yeah. No, when I tried it, the silly old bat suggested I saw a psychiatrist. I think she was right. Yeah, but at least you tried. And in my case, it convinced me that there was no point in trying to prolong our relationship. Now I knew it was time to call it a day when my dog was bringing me my slippers and my wife was barking at me. Hmm. <laughs> Poor old devil. Still, you're better off on your own. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I remarried three months ago. Oh, I should have known it. Speedy Holdsgrove strikes again. What is she, <laughs> some nice old widow? Uh, well, she's not too old, really. Oh, no, here she is now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, lover. Mm. Oh, it's good to see you. Mm. Oh, I missed you. Has <laughs> she been away a long time? About half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm a bit late, Bobby. Mm. That's all right, kitten. Mm. Oh. Uh, it's getting a bit warm round here. I think I'll just go for walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, who's this, darling? Oh, this is Fatty. Uh, Terry Fletcher, old school chum of mine. <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. Oh, please don't go, Terry. Any friend of Bobbykin's is a friend of mine. <laughs> how did he... How do you do? <laughs> uh, me too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, darling, I'm meeting Fiona here. I want to hear why she split up with her boyfriend, Reggie. <laughs> and she's got the pattern for that sweater I'm going to knit you. Good. Oh, there she is. Fiona, over here. Beryl, darling. And Bobby, how are you? Oh, well, Beryl keeps me young. Best thing I ever did. She really appreciates me. <laughs> oh, and this is, uh, this is Terry Fletcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll get some drinks. Uh, but gin and tonic? Oh, just a tomato juice. I'm painting my flat out at the moment, and I don't want my emulsions running away with me. <laughs> <laughs> do, do uh, sit down and put everything around. Uh, 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 I, uh, I'm in painting, actually. Well, indirect. Indirectly. Uh, you mean you're an artist, Terry? Well, not really. Well, in my own way, I suppose I am, yes. You know, <laughs> boardroom, top executive of the, you know, commercial paints, uh, you know, all the power games. Oh, that sounds very exciting. <laughs> oh, it's boring, actually. You'll have to pop in and fire a few dozen people and arrange a, a takeover now and then. Actually, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> I've got a... <laughs> I've got a week off at the moment, you know, recharging the batteries, refurbishing the body work and, and clearing out the old, old boots. Mm. <laughs> you look very fit, Terry. Mm. Shouldn't think your clutch needs much attention. Mm. It's automatic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to be getting on well with these girls. Oh, yes, they're a lovely couple. Oh. <laughs> lovely girls. Cheers. Yeah. Sorry to hear about you and Reggie splitting up. Oh, he was so immature, Beryl. So, so petty and childish. Oh, how rotten. It's such a change to have a decent conversation. Oh, thank you. Hey, look, why don't the four of us meet up again for a drink? Say, tomorrow night we could go on somewhere for a meal. Oh, yes, darling, what a super idea. Well, you are free, Terry, aren't you? Oh, uh, free? Yes, yes, yes. Why not, for heaven's sake, yes. I mean, I, I can't let an old schoolboy friend out. Well, old, I mean, school, young schoolboy. We're all young, aren't we? <laughs> Bosoms up. Uh, Bosoms up. <laughs> The second time around. <laughs> tonight, tonight, I'm gonna have some fun. Tonight, tonight, da 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 dee da ha. Excuse me, I'm home, back in the office. Terry? Mm hmm? I'm back. Your fish fingers are in the oven. <laughs> Good Lord. I didn't know that was physically possible. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm late. I've been run off my feet all day at the office today. Mm. Oh, I could do with a gin and tonic. Mm. Gin and tonic? No, thank you. Not for me now. 
<laughs> well, this is jolly nice welcome home, I must say. Well, you come bounding in here expecting instant attention. I'm not a machine you can switch on and off when you like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Very amusing. Well, I'm not going to have an argument tonight, even with a machine. Mm. No. I think I'm the best thing that ever hit that office. I've done all the back filing, and I... Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I haven't got time to stop and listen now, you know. I've just got to drive. Out? Where? Oh, I'm meeting an old school chum of mine, an intelligent chap, got rid of his first wife and married a younger woman who understands him. <laughs> and I'm going to meet him around the corner. I'm just popping now. <laughs> oh, good. What time do we have to be there? Uh, no, no, not you. Uh, you won't invite me, June. I'm just making up a force. I'm just to oblige. You know, it's like a school reunion with extras. <laughs> uh, well, I've been cooped up here all day. I... I better go. Mm. Oh, a foursome? Who is? Oh, oh, some Fiona, some young thing. You wouldn't like her. Well, that's how I've been cooped up. I must dash now. Oh, uh, by the way, I've uh, left a pudding for you on the kitchen table. Terry? Nice and hot. Prusin and custard. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Six, seven, four, two. Yes. Oh, oh, Mr. Caldecott. Oh, I'm so sorry I had to leave the office without saying goodbye, but you were so busy. Hmm. Uh, yes, that's right. It is some years since I worked in an office. Am I filing? Did I? Under what? Oh, well, I mean, that's not really my fault, is it? Yes, I know. I know my typing is a bit rusty, but... What? How dare you? All right. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, no, please, Mr. Caldecott. Don't grovel. No, that's perfectly all right. Goodbye. Well, of all the blooming... I've been sacked. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello. Sorry, I'm late. What is it, a quick slifter, short drive, a hot dinner, and where's Fiona? <laughs> yeah. Well, Terry, uh, she isn't coming. Oh, there's a very good reason. Yeah. She, um, had, had to, to write her some hair. letters. Um, both. <laughs> oh, well, well, it doesn't matter. I wasn't really hungry. It's all these slimming pills, you know. <laughs> uh, hmm. Sorry, old son, but we're late. We've, uh, we got a press on. We booked a table. Hope oh. you don't mind. I suppose he could still come with us. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bother. I'm much jollier company on my own. <laughs> hmm. I reckon I was right about you after all. Eh? Well, Fiona not turning up will sort of confirm my earlier diagnosis. You know, about you being a bit I should, a I should go now, Halls Grove. You might find it difficult eating without teeth. <laughs> come in, my love. Back again, Mr. Fletcher. Mm. Whiskey, is it? No, I'll have a bloody Fiona. Uh, <laughs> have a bloody Mary. Excuse me, is the seat taken? Mm. Do you mind if I sit here? No, of course not, June. J June. Hi. I just thought I'd uh, pop up here for a drink as I was on my own. No. Uh, weren't you uh, meeting someone? No, no, I didn't bother. I thought I was being rather childish. So I told them, the three of them, to go off without me. Uh, I, I, I was actually, I was coming home to you, June. Ah, oh, that's nice of you, darling. Yes, I know. But... You look rather special. Um, Shouldn't she be at home and take it easy, you know, work tomorrow and everything? No, well, as a matter of fact, I've, um, I've decided to give it up. After you left, I, I phoned Mr. Caldecott and handed in my notice. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that my place was at home with you. Oh, that, that is nice of you, June. Yes, I know. Well, come on, let's go home. <laughs> And do join us tomorrow for the last in the present series of Happy Ever After. The next this evening, EastEnders. <laughs>
since this morning's break. Uh, no, that's last night. I'll get you this. No, I'll look at that. All right. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's my... What, June, what, what, what are you doing? It's all right, darling. I'm just... Uh, it for you. Just a minute. Just a minute. There is, there's something wrong here. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take the top off your egg. No, no, sure. I can do that. I can do that. I can do it. Get over. Get off. <laughs> All right. There's no need to snatch. But don't anticipate my every move, please. It's like competing with an overanxious octopus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was only... No, June, no, June, June. You are a person in your own right. You don't have to dance attendance on me. It's not necessary to jump up and get my morning paper. I think it's beneath you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quite right. Sorry, there you are. No, no, look, look. Just, just recently, our relationship seems to be based on trivialities, like you p passing me the butter. Oh, well, if passing you the butter is ruining our relationship, I certainly won't hand you the coffee. It might be construed as grounds for divorce. No, no I, I meant that we should have a deeper, a more meaningful relationship, not just, I'm buttering your toast, I've washed your socks, and here's your boiled egg. I mean, you're getting things the wrong way round. Well, if you'd rather I boiled your toast, washed your egg, and buttered your socks. <laughs> I mean, as an octopus, I could do all three at the same time. No, 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 June, June, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to be serious. I mean, you are, you are your own person, not just a servant. Now, now this, this is, this is important. This, this is important, June. No, sorry. This, 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 this is important. Yes, I'm sorry. Do go on. Well, you see, look, I am me, and you, June, are you. I see. And you thought that I wasn't sure who we were. No, 